part two of this. Part two of being in a dream is to be each object in the dream. So now I invite you, you've drawn the first frame. I asked you for the title of it. Uh-huh. And I put the title losing. Losing. And then I said something else, losing me or... Yeah, I either lose myself. Or the people. Or the people. Losing... No, I said losing the what is important for me. Yes, people, like that's it. Important. Yeah. So again, I would have asked what happened yesterday, Gabriella, that you had this dream. Because I'm living with you, mm. I already had a sense. And I was actually going to come and talk to you about where did you go last night? You organized this logistics and yet I couldn't feel you anymore. Mm. Where did you go? However, that's a separate conversation I'll have with you. Mm -hmm. But look how the dream captures it. Wow. So one piece, what I'm hearing, one piece that when you're holding space for it, is that you would ask the person when you're not living with her or, or, or the person uh, or mm -hmm. in that what was happening to you yesterday. Yeah, what happened yesterday that you had this dream last night? What was happening with you yesterday that you had this dream tonight? Because I think you were scared at the table and the logistics. First of all, hurry up. This is only going to take t 10 minutes. What did you say? Five. Five. And then you said you're Brazilian. Um, like, <laughs> you really? You are Brazilian. You think that, that time. And then I, 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 inside of me, I felt judged. Uh, did you? Yeah. And my child either said, I was like, okay, so let's do it more. And then it was when I shift from five to ten. And then, and then, and then for you it was still like little, but it was this like, okay, let's do it fast because people, um, like they have another things and it's a logistic about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like either, and then, oh, look, losing, you want to stay with the people. Yeah. Oh, look at that amazing dream. And then I, I wanted to be with people and I wanted to say what was important for me. And when I was like the conflict happening, um, I was like, I'm losing the people now because I did it something about me. And this was the listening space I had with you yesterday about like the money and you like got, I'm making you're going money. fast, is it? Because yeah. you don't want to feel what you're feeling. Uh, because I feel like fear. So you want to skip over your fear or <sighs> take time to feel it? Mm. I want to feel it. So this dream totally captures you called the logistics meeting at the Haven over something that was important to you. And you didn't think, you thought you'd lose the people if you took up too much time, so you reduced it to five minutes. Yeah. And I didn't communicate because I thought that was not important. Oh, Lordy. Mm. Yeah. This logistics meeting was important to you, and it was important for the Haven. It was well overdue. Wow, go with the feelings and the emotion. Mm. Yeah. Because uh. then I couldn't feel you. And this morning in our crying, the coffee initiation, I brought this forward. Yes, I'm one of the pillars. I am the pillar of this place. And I said, this was my edge. I couldn't didn't get what mattered to the, to the other person mm. and that's when I needed hey where's my team to rely on here who's holding the meta perspective and I didn't think anybody was energetically whoa yeah I was out yeah you were out so I'm fascinated that I was going to come and say <laughs> Gabriella I couldn't feel you yesterday what happened? And what I hear the dream term is you got scared. Oh, a witch came. No, you wanted to hurry up. So no wonder you got scared. I felt scared that it was not important for people. What is important for me? And then I hurry up because I don't want to take time with people for something that is that is just important for me because I think that it's just important for me. And then I hurry up to like, I hurry up. To go faster and like okay let's get them that because it's not about 
me. It's not about you. It's that sentence again. There. So this is yeah. super intense as some of the other videos we've done. So I let's use the parent and child. And you know I don't separate them out. To uh -huh. me they're always interlinked. So you got into your you were already scared. You draw your fear in your, in this child who lost it somewhere with a squiggle or not. I think I've lost my leg. I was. You were scared. I was scared. I would draw like that. And what's and then somehow capture what's important to me is not important to them. Mm. A box, some symbol. I would draw something like a heart. And what did you say? What's important to me isn't important to them. Yes, and because that, um, I will not take their time. So because don't take their time. You right. So there's the injunction. Don't take their time. Bring it down here to the child if you can. What's important to me? Don't. It's not important to them. Don't take their time. So here's the injunction, don't take their time. The one from the map we've used is don't be important, is the injunction. Hmm. Can you write that down? So these injunctions get kept out of awareness with the hurry up driver. And then you know you're in your parent ego state. Mm. Wow. So we've done both. Somebody said, will you slow a piece of work down so that we can do the theory and the <laughs> map as well? And we haven't even got to the bag. <laughs> so this might be video two. <laughs> video three <laughs> now video three <laughs> will you be the bag <gasps> over the bag <laughs> in, your fence, in your fence it's, it's dead it needs to run away okay so i'm i'm the bag so one moment so yeah. when you're being an object in the dream you talk in the first person i am a big bag like this this size um plastic outside i have four wheels and a metal part that can push up and carry on the handle yeah the handle and where are you bag i am lost in the last place she was just a minute because we are alive I'm lost in the last place she was. You look curious about that, are you? Y yes. It's, it's there's a rhyme. <laughs> Beautiful. Can I can write a poem? Go. <laughs> and I'm lost in the last place she was. And I'm curious because it doesn't make sense in my mind. And how did you get separated from Gabriella? Wait, there's an assumption there. Did you get separated from Gabriella? Yes, she forgot me. Take a breath. Do you feel anything when you say that? I feel sad. She forgot you. bag you're a bag you plastic on the outside quite big you have a handle and four wheels what else 
what's inside you? There are statues. I have statues inside of me and I have clothes and I have cards and a chronometer and I have Gabriella's stuff, it's everything she has to do. Statues, chronometer, clothes. And you got separated from her. She left you behind. And I'm angry because she didn't care. What didn't she care about it back? She forgot me. She forgot me and she did not care. So she, she forgot you and sounds like you're angry bag. Yes. And the way you make sense of that, the conclusion you come to about that is she didn't, doesn't care about me. Yes. Because if she would care, she would not forgot me. Mm. Is that a way you suppress your anger bag? By the conclusion, she doesn't care. Mm. Huh? No. So how, what's the purpose of coming to that conclusion? She doesn't care about you. To make, to make justifiable that I am lost. Oh, maybe. So yeah. there's a reason that I'm lost, it's because you don't care. And it's justifiable. There has to be a, a reason. Uh, it, so oh, it has to have a reason that you're lost. Yeah, that she forgot me. In the last place she was. There is no reason, like, it's... Keep going. If there's no reason, what do you feel? If there is no reason, I as I can't exist because I, she would she would just forget me because she forgot it. Keep going. It it has to be a reason. There has to be a reason. Go. <laughs> See what's coming now? Another stuff. But I, I had to create a reason to my mom not forget me in that school or at feeding me or something else because she she was occupied. It's like so there had to be a reason that she don't care or she's occupied or she don't have time. And the reason you worked out in the dream was because she doesn't care. Yeah. She doesn't care for what is important to her because these things she carry with her everywhere she goes because she, because it's important to her otherwise she would not carry it because she just care what is important to her in this bag and me and she forget even what is important to her yeah <laughs> she's forgotten the statues What's important to her? The chronometer? The cards. The cards. Playing cards or other kinds of cards? Tarot cards. Tarot cards! And then you linked it to your mum. As a youngster, you, you decided there has to be a reason. And you made up the reason. Mm. It's because she doesn't care. So what I'm drawing now is that self in relationship model. <laughs> yeah. And it was as a way of you, this is the intellectual body, a way of keeping your feeling body, emotional body, your anger, out of awareness. Hmm. The anger, I, the anger that I wanted to be there with her. Yeah, she doesn't care about me. She's left me behind. Mm. That's the bag. Mm. 
So thank you for showing how to self uh, survival system engineering. This is the physical body down here. You can see it on our YouTube channel, the physical body. The sensations in these. And then we had up here behavior, which is the driver. So remember this is, we're using distorted thoughtware mm -hmm. to keep the emotion out of awareness. You are angry as the bag. You've left me behind. And then quickly you went to using the conclusion to keep this emotion out of awareness to you. So this keeps going. Yes, the anger that she left me behind. Yeah. Yes, go. Mm -hmm. It landed more, it left behind. Left behind. Mm -hmm. Your words are important. What's important to you is left behind. Yeah, go Gabriella. Are you feeling sad that uh, as child uh, the things that was important to me was left behind and then and then it's like started to become normal to me left behind the things that is important to me as the bag and And I'm, I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling angry because I, I started to make up what is important to me instead of being with what is important. So it's like I, what it was important, for example, yesterday for me, it was to communicate the, the clarity that arrived just in the end that was to communicate that and and to exchange energy to give it back this was it was important to me but because of that i i i put that what is important to the others that is money and and then i i lose connection with what is important to me because of what is important to the other is more important than what is important to me those were reenactments of all this Mm -hmm. Then it became about the other person's emotion. It's a mess. <laughs> and this happens so different times. And I bring something and then I reinforce that if I bring what is important to me, this is what happens. Um, so it's better to not bring it or to do it in another way. Or to do it alone or whatever. Oh. oh, yes. Just the logistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went down for crying your coffee initiation this morning with my turn. Mm. Because, yes, I'm a pillar here. And when I'm on my edge, I want to know, like, where were you, team? Where were the space holders? Evaporated. Hmm. Amazing learning. This is why I'm living in a hand with that apron. So we see it. Hmm. Somebody called you the amplifier today. You amplify seeds and possibilities like Annika's event and the dream and this weekend, the space hold. You're an amplifier. And I think you're an amplifier of this as well. Mm. Yeah. Yay. Glad you're here. <sighs> so, so many bits that link to all the other videos we've done. Injunctions are stored in the child ego state, or I prefer to call it the archaeopsyche, the historic ego. Don't be important, don't take their time. 
and you use the driver beheaded to cover it up. Hurry up. Don't feel your fear. Don't feel your anger as the bag. Mm -hmm. Wow. Three videos out of that. <laughs> yes. And for the workshop, like, what do you see? You see, like, we're doing it for each person, with each person that, or? I will that? ask, so if, come to the dream workshop, what did we call it? Well, I'll call dreams. it dreams. A golden key. A for dream. Dream, um, emotional healing process, and into the collective unconscious for the wisdom we need. So each person I'll invite you to bring a dream doesn't have to be a current one. And I will ask them to draw it, draw each scene first. Mm. Then go into pairs and do what you and I have just done. So hold a 10 minute space and be one of the objects. Mm. Let it speak. Or how come this happened? How come you dreamed that dream yesterday? What went on that you overlooked and it went into your unconscious? went into the storehouse of unintegrated experiences, archaeopsychy. Wow. Wow, it, what? Wow, it's, uh, the wow, it's about the, the non-linearity into healing. Mm. I, by writing down today this dream, I, I did not access the power of that what happened mm. and and in the past I did the dream from from the young uh, perspective but it was a lot of analyzing with the symbols and the archetypes and mm -hmm. trying to connect the stuff and the, my wow is appreciation from that came from inside from the feeling and being with what's happening in each uh, movement yeah the feelings work yes so it's like put the two things together, the, the mental body and the emotional body of feeling. And sometimes the physics, so uh, the, I woke up one morning, 1990, anniversary weekend, so the one coming up, and I said to Anna's dad, I need to go to England. He totally got on board. He said, I don't know why, I need to go to England. So Anna was only three. And so I, I had two weeks to sort out clients to say, look, I'm having a two or three week, two week break. And as dad looks to sort everything out, we all live together. And after, book my ticket. And then after seven days, my cousin Deborah rang and said, hey dad, my uncle Billy's got stomach ulcer so he's going to some tests no problem two days before i fly out we know it's not a stomach ulcer it's cancer so i fly out on the friday and my sister and mom and dad were in a, quite a panic trying to organize everything no they they didn't know how serious it was at that point anyway my ticket book flew out he died four days later. Died on the 15th of February. I listened to a dream. No, there was. I wouldn't have drawn you anything. Mm. But because I listened to it, organized it with harmony, got there, he was still, they didn't know how serious it was then. Mm -hmm. and, and you also didn't know here, no, you know Peru, you know. Dream. When I saw him, I thought, ooh, I was glad to get to see him alive. But they really didn't know. He had another appointment booked the week after to go and see the seriousness of the cancer. Wow. He was in a lot of pain. And then the in England, it's called the Macmillan nurse, the hospice nurse, came. And she said, oh, my God, why are we being called in at this late stage? And he was sick, sick in morphine by then. He was in so much pain. Ooh. And there's no d way he would have died on Valentine's Day. Like, he was just not a romantic. He died the early morning, the next day on the 15th of February. All from a dream. 
I'm bad at that. Powerful. So, come to the dreams on the 1st of February, mm. 8 a.m. to 10 p. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. New Zealand time. Yes, and 8 p.m. 10 p.m. to European time. Come and learn the power and gems of your dreams. Yeah. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure.